Hello, everybody, and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael, and I'm really excited today because I have a special guest joining me on this spotlight as we are looking at a part called Zemonian by Crab Conius, I think is how you pronounce the name. Um, but I have Batch, who's joining me and stepping over from the PC world onto the console world for the spotlight. So, Batch, how are you doing today, man? Oh, thanks. Uh, fine, I'm doing fine, and thanks for the invitation. Uh, yeah, pretty excited for this park. Um, yeah, it was the, the console parks. I was never interested in them until I saw Matty's channel and your channel. And I thought there are some damn good parks out there. So I'm pretty excited to see this one today. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it and appreciate the compliment. Um, I think it's just a matter of, you know, just kind of taking time to get used to the game because I never played it on PC until it came on console. So, you know, it really took me six or seven months to kind of feel like I could actually build custom stuff, right? So it just takes time. And there's definitely been a lot of good parks coming out on the PC recently. Um, but I chose this one because I know, you know, when you do your spotlights a lot and stuff, um, you know, you like using reshade and looking at stuff at night a lot of the times. And so, you know, that's one reason yeah. this was just, it's got a lot of, a lot of lighting, maybe a little bit too much in some areas, but overall it's really well kind of lit up. Um, so what are your initial yeah, thoughts? Here on the, on the, uh, yeah, here on the left side was a little bit too much red, uh, but the views are already awesome that I see here. You come in, you have the Ferris wheel at the end of the main mm -hmm. street, etc. So it looks already pretty good, except it's a little bit too much lighting sometimes. Like, yeah, here as well. It's a little bit too bright in my opinion. So maybe some spotlights would have worked better instead of the area lights. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think it's one of those where um, I'm not really good with lighting. So I tend to, when I try to light stuff up, tend to overlight it just because that's not really a specialty of mine. Um, it's always cool to kind of see, you know, different style parks. And as we can see here, this is, that's never come this way because there's not actually an attraction over here. But it's supposed to be, at least to my knowledge, kind of almost like a little stage area where you can have like a show and stuff. Oh. I see it. I see it. That's nice. A little western area uh, mm -hmm. made as, I don't know, a theater or whatever this could be, or it is. Yeah, you know, I gotta check and see if there's it's anything insane. backstage. <laughs> <laughs> that's with all the benches. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, really a nice little theater for western show or so. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. N nice little detail. And even supports yeah. on the knees. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's what I like. All the little details. Yeah, it's all the little details that really just bring stuff together. Um, and it's a bummer that the guests can't actually really access back here because there's nothing really for them to kind of access. Um, I love those little coaster cars too with that kitty coaster. The dragon looks really cool and it really fits those kind of fairy tale themes. Uh, but what were you saying? Oh, it does. Uh, uh, yeah, it does really fit, but it's pretty annoying if you're right in the CPU. It's <laughs> so annoying to have this hand all the time. But but yeah, it fits very well. It, it fits very well. Mm -hmm. And we got a nice Venetian. little little Venetian carousel. Yeah, I like the main area here, the main street area. Oh, on the coaster on top, really nice. Mm -hmm. Even with the white lighting, pops out. Yeah. And then we, we go it. onto the kiddie coaster. Nice decorated queue, seems like. Mm -hmm. A nice little entrance too, and then it's you know they make it out to look like a castle. Um, I believe it's an open air station, which is pretty cool to kind of see. So and. Yeah, this is a um, this is a pretty. Yeah, cool it's a nice little fairy. Yeah, nice little fairy tale theme, and it is an open station. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. With mm -hmm. this archways above, that's that's a nice little touch. Definitely. And then the coaster, yeah, yeah, dragon themed. They're just so cute. <laughs> I know. Way and, too um, cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like yeah. you said, we. this is actually our second time having to record this because something messed up with part of the <laughs> recording. But as you said the first time, they give us everything in the game. They just don't give us an angry dragon. 
<laughs> yeah, an evil dragon, really evil dragon. And then you told a little nice story or something. Have used the crocodile as a dragon, which I have never seen before. Somebody <laughs> doing it, but it sounds awesome to have the croc because the crocodiles really have this evil look a little bit at least. Mm -hmm. And so if the you then put uh, some fire, in, it's pretty. Yeah, and so what they ended up doing was they ended up using basically the, the crocodile was pushed into the dragon. So basically it had the crocodile's head, but you could see the eyes. Because I don't know if you've noticed at nighttime, but the crocodile's eyes shine. So it gives this really creepy, eerie look. And then when the crocodile opens its mouth, you would have the, the person had the fire blowing out of it. And so if you, if you saw it at daytime, you'd see, oh, that looks weird. But at nighttime, it just gave a really cool kind of vibe about a dragon blowing fire that's really got a crocodile head <laughs> um but yeah, what are your yeah thoughts on the i coaster? like the idea oh the coaster was nice pretty smooth and i like it how it's going up the mountain and then going down the mountain going through the caves and that's well done i like it when people use the terrain a lot Mm -hmm. and cover the coasters a little bit with it so it's not just a plain coaster no um yeah foliage and terrain is also part of uh seeming in my opinion uh just here and there was missing a little bit of decorations like some manning veins in the in the caves caves are a little bit empty for my taste some mm -hmm. rocks veins and foliage could have worked here yeah. yeah just a little I agree with that. doesn't need to be too much yeah yeah, I agree with that. I agree with you as well about the train. Like, it's just a, um, it's got a lot of height to it for a kiddie coaster, but it's not necessarily the, um, it's not like it's got a big drop. It's more just to accommodate with the terrain and um, mm -hmm. really, really well done. And then it kind of exit out into this little plaza area, even though it's um, still like part of the exit, which I think is always cool when rides kind of have that area. Um, yeah, Other. that's nice. A little chill out area, even for the parents waiting for their kids coming from the kiddie coaster. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah nice. I think there could have been a little bit more decoration around this little pond area, um, but overall, I think the yeah, main yeah, this area is pretty nice. It is. It's super well done. Just a little bit more foliage or flowers, maybe. Then mm -hmm. that, that's it. Does doesn't yeah. need to be a lot. But this will add a lot. Like here on the right side, super well done with the foliage here. Fire entrance. Oh, to, oh yeah. Ah, here. <laughs> oh, that's what you saw. see. <laughs> yeah, that's what I saw. Oh, and the whirly rig or the tent foo, how mm -hmm. I call it. <clears throat> For reasons, because of the song that's a per default on it. Da -da 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 <laughs> so, um,. Um, you know Tommy CM um, plays on PlayStation, right? He, uh, for some reason, he says that's his favorite ride. So whenever we see one of those, we just call it, "Oh, it's the Tommy CM." Um, so he uh, <laughs> okay. loves the Whirly Rig. Um, also, yeah, the, the Whirly Rig has to be in every park. It just has to be. Agreed. There's Especially no reason for it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of like every park needs to have one of those. Um, one of those swings that swings, uh, whatever they're called, the chero swing. Those are just always give such a good look. Chero swing. Yeah, they do as well. Uh, and a tenty for us more, a derpy thing to, to add to the park. <laughs> yeah, agreed. And so we can see here, this is um, like how the coaster had a little bit of like a pre section before it got to the lift, and that fire is awesome. Yeah, the triggers are on point. It's a little bit like a wooden action coaster. Uh, yep. Yeah, the only thing that's really yeah, annoys me a little bit are the area lights that you can see so good. And it distracts a little bit from all the fire effects you have ongoing here. So, with a little bit less light, the, the fire effects will pop out even a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But well timed. Even when we, we went through the cave, the fire goes out. Super well timed. Really well. Yeah, that's uh, really impressive, really well done. I agree with you. I think it's, um, you know, there, there's some lighting that's really well done, and then I think this is maybe done just a little bit too much because, like you said, it kind of takes away, oh, that's cool, kind of seeing the fire burning in the cave. Mm -hmm. 
but overall in terms of the coaster i mean like you said the trigger effects are amazing it's really smooth and the layout yep, is pretty strong is. going and going in and out of the mountain and over the mountain and so it gives a really cool look of just kind of being this majestic ride sitting at the back of the park yeah it is and i mean even when we said now it's a little bit too light but it, it, it highlights the coaster when you're a little bit far away and so you see it from far away it pops out from the forest so i i got the point uh why they did it and highlighted it that way it's just a little bit too much and you see mm. the lights which is never so yeah. nice <laughs> but it just placed on track <laughs> yeah well and you can definitely see too the um you know, just the the thought that went into all of this in terms of it's not just with this ride with all the rides and coasters in the park of trying to be mindful of even if it is over lit just try to be mindful of the lighting and the visuals the guests are going to have and downside a plip cam <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i remember but but we get some nice views now really yeah. nice views <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the Ferris wheel. And here again, the, oh, the, the fuse, the coaster, the fire going up, the dragons on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a little bit too much lights on the entrance. And even here yep. you see the plaza, very nice. Little sneak from the spooky area. I'm looking forward to uh, everywhere yep. the coasters. So nice. <laughs> Yeah, and it, this is one of those where I thought about editing it out, and then I realized it just gave us a great, great chance to have a great view of the park. Um, because it is fun sometimes mm, on yeah. game, walking up the coaster tracks and trying to see what views you can get. Um, so definitely it's again yeah. a nice view here on the on the main street. Yeah, yeah, here it's again you you see the lights pretty well. Mm -hmm. I didn't recognize it as the last time. But it's overall a very nice main street, and I love the houses on the left. They are super well done. Yeah, and definitely... All the little details. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell they're custom, and then even some of that wood trimming on there. Like, it's not like that's the Bavarian piece or anything. Like, that's the custom wood trimming and, and like, wooden planks and really well done. And so now it's, like, crossover once again into the more kind of um, Western theme. And this station is awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. Also, that you had this little, I don't know how to call it in English. Sorry, the, the river well, going over the flanks. Oh, I don't even know it in German now. Damn it. Uh, but it <laughs> looks really, really nice. And yeah, yeah, super, super well done station. Uh, I like it. Uh, but now, again, to the area I don't like. But at least here we have some veins uh, used as the seaweed for it. Uh, mm -hmm. it effect here is nice even though the pink color is not that bad uh gives a little nice touch but yeah then here you have all the lights placed down <laughs> the terraforming yep. <laughs> uh, going through the track as well. so yeah and the pink is a little bit distracting i haven't seen it the first time on the right there's a little bit of uh, here Mm -hmm. A little house was placed, a little bit of uh, stuff to look at. and But the pink was so distracting, I haven't seen it the first one. And here in this cave as well, half the lamps would have been good. It's a little bit too yeah. much. Again. Yeah, so I think this kind of overarching theme of this park is maybe maybe just tone down the lighting just a little bit. Um, because I do know, like I don't do lighting too much because I'm just not great at it, but I do know it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to overdo the lighting, right? Um, oh yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, oh. first, first, my tip is just don't work with the area lights too much. Try mm -hmm. working with the spots, and if you need some indirect lighting, then use the area lights to give this little effect. If you place them then underground and stuff to lighten things a little bit more, but use the normal lights first, and then later on the area lights. Mm -hmm. I agree.
them, but I do like. Yeah. I love the the kind of danger or warning signs there. Um. Yeah. Now we go, bam, into the curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, uh, there. Brace for some. Brace for impact, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give the give the, the lock flume a little bit space to to, to press after. Hmm. Just a little. Bit. And now we get a visual of what's upcoming in the park, kind of of the next section. It's pretty cool. Mm, yeah, that the, the nice spooky area with this immense coaster. This coaster is everywhere already. <laughs> and that's also a nice touch. The the, the the track right beside the lock flume. Yeah, there was mm -hmm. the coaster. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that's, that's so nice. Really well done. Do we have a floater here? No, it's not a floater. Look like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, really well done. Interaction with the wooden coaster. Interaction even with the spooky coaster. Oh, I forgot the name. I don't really see the name. So yeah, nice lock flume overall, uh, except for a few sections that were a little bit plain, need a little bit of rework, especially in terraforming. Mm -hmm. and maybe sure. a little bit more forward. When, when it's possible. I don't know uh, how much person touch this park has on the PS4. Yeah, I Maybe think it's it, at 100%. <laughs> I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's at a 100%, but I, I honestly can't remember. It might have a percent or two. Um, but what I love about that log flume too is when you got kind of the middle back and back half of the ride, you do a lot of... Um, a lot of options or like um, opportunities for interaction with the coaster and the log flume to where you can kind of see the the spooky coaster area or the wooden coaster kind of going by and now mm. I didn't, this was this was here when i did it yeah you, 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 <laughs> yeah you, you get the sneak peek sorry i, I just read the sign <laughs> uh deep down and high in the air so <laughs> the German sign, i just saw it <laughs> Oh. Now it makes sense. There's the drop tower there <laughs> in this cave. Yep. So is that um? Yeah, and signs were they in German? And, and here the yeah the, the um I, what was it uh tief runter hoch in die Luft uh, so deep down and up in the air. Okay. Like you said, that makes sense for this for this drop tower. That's a really really cool explanation yeah. for it. Ah, oh, the, the toilets. Oh, don't show them. Um, but yeah, he, here, uh, here the area lights do work, I have to admit. They do work here. Because you have this rainbow effect, it's colorful. Uh, and yeah, they, they just work underneath here. I um, totally agree. To have this lightened up. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe just a little bit too, too light right there. Um, when you use area light colors that are different than your typical kind of white light, you know, with the white light, you can just make it not as much by making it closer to black, right? Um, mm. yeah, when you're using a color, just because they don't really necessarily have, like, all these different shades of the same color, right? Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. You so have this, to play a little, little bit around for the color so you get the right uh, amount mm -hmm. of light. But I love this. And even the color you want to see. Yeah, the spooky is really nice done here. It's all the skeletons. <laughs> oh. this is, um, and then it's like Caged. everywhere you go, just coaster track everywhere. So, so many opportunities for you to yeah. see the ride and see the coaster fly by. Oh, yes, the, the, the drop tower coming up. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. So, even with the drop tower, you get some sneak peeks here of this area. Like from the mm -hmm. log flu, etc. I wish that would have. Yeah. I mean, okay, that the coast is everywhere here. Just <laughs> everywhere. Oh, mm -hmm. Z fights. Hmm. Um, I've seen nothing. And then this uh, oh, the huntsman. haunted house is like, it's so tucked back in the corner that, I mean, I feel like if, for people that are checking out this park, um, pretty easy to kind of miss it. It's, uh, yeah, that's, that's often so. That's often the case. Yeah, but this is a really... I hate when I miss moment. stuff. <laughs> Me too. I hate when I record... Because often the, 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 these hidden rights are sometimes so well made. They, they are hidden for a reason. So it's... 
Uh, kind of Easter eggs of why if this awesome, right? I, I hide it somewhere. They have to find it. <laughs> but yeah. Yep. Well, especially with some parks you do on the PC, which by the way, should have said this earlier in the video, but make sure and go check out Batch's channel. The link's in the description below. Make some amazing content for PC. And I love what you call when you do a park tour, you call the walk in the park, which is just such yeah. a perfect name for, for making a spotlight and stuff. Um, oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, a walk in the uh, I didn't I didn't want to call it spotlight or whatever, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a walk in the park and now I'm stuck with it, but, but it's 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 a nice choice. Um, uh, yeah, thanks it. a lot here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, sorry, back to the huntsman. <laughs> oh, I just recognize you you're not on C3. Ay ay ay. <laughs> not on oh, yeah, C3. But uh, yeah, I, I. But well done, Huntsman. Here triggers again on on top. It's a little bit short. When I remember correctly, you can say this now. Yeah, there's, mm. there's already the exit. But the, the the cave at the beginning with the dark areas where you only see the eyes and so pretty spooky. And then some nice effects when you come out here on the right side with those fire effects, and on the left side the house that's going from. I don't know, well lit, normal lit, uh, so a bit warm welcome and then suddenly changes to spooky and all the ghosts appears. So very well, nice trigger work. Yeah, I I totally agree. I think it was um I think it's really cool. I like the I like the lighting effects to where there's that moment where all of a sudden it gets pitch dark and you kinda of think it's something mess up, but then it, you just see a couple of flashes of light and you see the skeletons and yeah. And the triggers in this park are um, so well done. Yeah, they they, they know how to use uh, the dark effect. So covering with Duran to get it really dark, and then just play around. So placing the huntsman in the cave or parts of it in the cave is a pretty mm -hmm. nice idea. I, I just love the interaction this coaster has with this whole area. Yeah, it, it's awesome, but it's everywhere. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's really everywhere. Everywhere you walk in this area, you see this coaster. And every few seconds, it feels like a train is coming by. <laughs> yep. And I just noticed, too, so that... Nice. Um, just noticed, too, that you... Um, you When we were on that path right there, you could see the main lift hill for the wooden coaster. And so it's just kind of... Creating that really good visual and sight lines in the park, and I need some more lighting here in this queue. Um, have a yeah, lighting and a little bit of details, but but it's fine. Then you have this roof, well done here, open mm -hmm. area that's really cool. Yeah. And I just looked at the sign below; it's two thousand meters, two thousand one hundred seventy-eight meters. Wow, oh. <laughs> a two-kilometer coaster. Yeah, that's 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 nice. Yeah, that's a really yeah, nice I don't thing. I don't see the, the track lengths here. Sorry. You're good. Yeah. So um uh, as we see the G forces laterals definitely higher. Um Yeah, they're a little bit too high, even for my taste. I mean laterals and so give you usually a good indicator even if you don't care about realism, um they give you a good indicator where that your coaster maybe needs a little bit more banking. Yeah, banking for sure, that's the key. Let so there. Yeah. Yeah. The laterals are really a good indicator for that. Man. And if you go for realism, don't use maximum of two Gs or maybe two and a half Gs. I mean, you're the expert here, Michael, not me. Yeah, no, I no, think these are the correct values. No engineer, but yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, that, that launch area was really cool. Now, hey, one thing I actually saw the other day that I thought was interesting while we're on this two minute long coaster, um, there was uh, there's a new gig Ooh. coaster. Um, could potentially be built here in America and they saw something that showed all the specifics about it and it talked about at one point it could pull 5G's so I didn't th I didn't realize that 5G's were actually I, I thought it was more kind of in the 4 range um, yeah so what you say 5G's are realistic it's true uh, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know if 5G's is for verticals is, is more than realistic I think the world record for vertical G's is 6.5 G's wow okay yeah uh, something around like that so so 5G's vertical uh, is okay totally fine 
I lo- man, I love this but coaster. But for laterals, it's a little bit high. Yeah, this coaster is awesome. Yeah. Oh, it goes in and out everywhere. Back high, mm-hmm. back low to the guest level. Uh, I think it's yeah, really just examples. In and out. Just going to say, I think it's examples like that where you can just bank it just a little bit more and it just kind of, like you said, kind of evens out some of those G forces and stuff. Um, lateral. Mm-hmm. Banking is your biggest friend when trying to deal with laterals. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love that. First and it's launch. even good for the coaster to have. Yeah, that the first launch is awesome. Uh, here, the red lights work very well. Mm-hmm. Also, see here in a second, and then I'll highlighting this. What's up? What'd you say? Uh, highlighting uh, the coaster launch is so well. The red light. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I love, I love when we point out stuff kind of as we see it. Um, and I'm kind of looking here, and so this part was custom supported, and I think it's pretty well done custom supported because I just didn't notice it standing out as being different. Uh, but it's done that way because mm-hmm. obviously it's over pathing, so a lot of the supports probably were. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's even not the, the, the. I don't think it's the supports. Or are the beams the supports? I don't know. But what I miss are the connectors to the track. Mm-hmm. But yeah. that's it. It's that's just, it as well. Yeah. Definitely miss the connectors. Um, but yeah, real quickly, if you would, bef- um, kind of as we're kind of looking around a little bit, what were your. I know we've talked about said this coaster is awesome. Uh, but what was your maybe favorite part about it or what kind of stood out to you? Uh, what I like was the section through the wood and the interaction with the guests. So when it's going through the woods, I really liked that. And then on some point it's going down uh, and you go down on the guest level and you're mm. beside the past. You're, you have to... Yes, uh, uh, sorry, I have to check it. Add, yeah, grid bars. Grating? That is? No, it's grids. Yeah, you have just the grids between you and the people walking by. Uh, so it gives a nice effect. So this is what I would love to see as, as a guest walking around. The coaster so close with such speed going mm-hmm. by. I, I love it. I totally yeah. agree. And of course, the, 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 the first launch was also awesome. Yeah, it really took Bring in that... It really brought that kind of horror vibe to the coaster. I feel like with a coaster this size and with this speed, it's kind of hard to really theme it around a horror kind of vibe, but having the launch kind of in that haunted house kind of really gave it that feel. Um, as we had to- he, he did very well. He created some sections where especially seen for the coaster, but you have so many interactions with the whole area where it just was enough to seem the area to get this coaster themed. <laughs> That's <laughs> also a possibility to do it. And it was really well done. It's really well done. That's my favorite in the park. Um, really, really liked it. And now this is the last coaster in the park. Is it's an invert coaster, and I think there's some areas of the station that like they could have a little bit more detail. But overall, especially when after we see this coaster, the 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 outside of the building, yeah. the top of the building is really well done. The station is nice, but it needs needs some trim work here. Huh. So G-Force is a little bit high for verticals, um, versions or airtime count on this, which inverted coasters normally don't have much, if any, airtime, just because, you know, you're kind of sitting below the track instead of above it, obviously. Um, but I love these. I love seeing how people create these coasters because they're, they're so unique in real life in terms of how people make the first drop. So this is, uh, well done. Yeah, I like yeah. it when, when people get creative on coasters and Planet Coaster. Hmm. You get so good experiences. And I always say you only have out your original experience with Planet Coaster. So maybe get a little bit more extreme on the coasters. So I don't care if the G forces are a little bit too high. Um, because we don't feel the G's, we don't feel the wind, <laughs> nothing. So we, you have to. Yeah, you have to compensate a little bit with audio, with visuals, uh, with seeming, you know, mm-hmm. uh, because you, you miss this. Totally agree. But I mean, that's, hey, we're... that's why it's for me so important to have a good seeming on the coast. I mean, you brought up a great point there. We're not actually physically riding the coaster, so who cares if it has 10 G's, right? No, I'm just kidding. That's that's ridiculous. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it depends who is building. <laughs> now, Chacha would maybe care about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, agreed. Um, but yeah, overall, I like the coaster. I like the kind of double roll slash corkscrew that it had. Um, it didn't necessarily seem like a full corkscrew. It seemed like kind of a cross between the two. But I know it's kind of hard to see without it being lit up. But the top of that station, it's almost got like its own like it's like a greenery type. Yeah. Um, and it looks really cool. Yeah, it does. And here again, uh, I mean, I said it before, maybe all the coasters have these hearts so built around the mountain, which I love. I really like it when you have a lot of interactions with the terrain. But here in this special case, it's also uh, has a little purpose to, to cover the sidelines, which is super well done. So you're very emerged in this park, which I like. Um, I, I don't want to see an empty map. <laughs> so if something's blocking my sidelines when I'm on guest level, that's perfect. So I feel immersed and can enjoy the park and don't see in the back there. <laughs> Not so pretty to uh, yep. Yeah. Totally agree. Um, I'm right there with you. I think because we have these essentially blank maps kind of on the edge. And by the way, this is maybe the prettiest area of the park. I love this little... Yeah, th this bridge, this lake with a little boat, a lot of details, nice rock work around the lake. Yeah, this, this is really well done. Super cozy. Agreed. But yeah, no, I was, like I was saying, I'll totally... oh, go ahead. Uh, un unfortunately, a queue line and not a <laughs> picnic area. That would have been nice as a picnic area. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Make a little make a little seating area there. Mm -hmm. But no, yeah, I mean, it really covers the sidelines, which is just perfect. Um, you know, it's the hills and the mountains, and we'll look in the daytime in a second, and it still looks good in the daytime. But as we kind of start to wrap this up, if we got about a minute left, um, your closing thoughts about this park? Uh, awesome park, really well done. Yeah, except a little bit of the lightning is maybe a little bit too much here and there, um, but it was very well done, super well detailed. I mean, you see a little bit that uh, yeah, it's it's not a. Uh, call it super expert level park uh, where you already have 3000 hours in the game uh, you see it's uh, the creator has some experience it's super nice detailed and if you go further that way and for example fix your lights uh, fix those little areas or sections you had on the lock flu uh, just little stuff so I can't wait to see that the next project of you I mean, this is already a super well done park and you see a little bit of improvements. You you did maybe while, uh, while building this park. Some sections are, are already a little bit better than others. Oh, I love the houses here. <laughs> so good. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm a little bit for Alpine Iris. Uh, I'm biased here. Um, yeah, so go ahead. Keep building. Awesome work you did here. All right. Well, the video is about to end. And thank you so much, Batch, for joining me and everybody else. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks for having me here. Bye.